moving ahead. Look what is here. I'm just a cat. P -p please talk to Yenna. I d -d don't like talking. Y Yenna is my best friend. She's kind. H help her, not me. N nothing good, I don't think. She was so very sick. Then maybe she made like cats and went off to to spend a last life. But please don't. I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients and I'm gonna make something really good, I promise. Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? Be most welcome. I am free from my bonds, but not my duty. The dead three are risen. The dead two remain. You must face them. I will help. Refugees. It is decreed. Well, do you have the means to support yourself? Then you don't need to be in the city. Next! That will make a great headline. See the gauntlet for pr Damned outsiders. Swarming the place. Our readers will be outraged. I'm watching you. This is front page material. No refugees. It is decreed. Well, do you have the means to support yourself? Right. Article 30.1.5 of the Council's decree on extraordinary wartime measures. I am confiscating that. The city thanks you for your contribution. Your name? Well met, citizen Fluffington. Your parasite stirs. From the construct, you feel connection, resonance. I am a steel watcher, citizen. Here to serve the people of Baldur's Gate in the name of Lord Enver Gortash. State your business. Eyes open, body still. Behind the 
Watcher's gaze, a presence awakens. You are seen. You are known. Whoa. My engine, it's almost... I don't know... Buzzing. Like it's paying attention. Your party's prior transgressions are reflected in its stare. As witnessed by the cult's ever alert, scrying eyes, it has heard the howls of slaughtered goblins. It has seen the deep shadows of Grimforge and the stone floors left bloodied. It knows the cold walls of Moonrise Towers and the cultists who fell there. The Watcher speaks directly into your mind with a voice like poisoned honey. You are marked for special treatment. Not simply an enemy of the people, but an enemy of the Absolute. Come quietly, or die. Your peaceful surrender has been noted. You will be transferred to Worms Rock Prison, where you will await further sentencing. Eat this, you pile of junk! Take heed. God damn it, God. Recovery I is imminent. Bastards, or I'll have your head. Pleasant folks, from what I've done. And if a patron confuses me for a member of Star Wars, I'd probably want break his nose. Good boy. Yeah. You haven't even got inside yet. I am oh, not going, going inside. Interesting. Brothels? Pleasure house? Finest fish caught this morning. What'll it be? Come back soon. Fresh catch every day, guaranteed. To the wise. Give that ill mate to Temple a wide berth. Rude buggers. Certainly not bringing my trade there again. Does that excuse being rude? Excluding folk? Come off it. They wouldn't let me in. Spouted some tripe about my sort and absolutist murderers. I only wanted to sit down a minute. So did I. Let me show you. Another step forward. Maybe the circus would be more open to traders? Sir, good sir, give me three days and... Oh, I... Apologies. I thought you were someone else. Greetings, so forth, so on. How dare you accusing an upstanding citizen like me of being a dwarf? I'm a halfling, you oaf. It is you, most definitely not anyone else. The salutations and hello and whatnot. The landlord, Sir Frego Antuna. A, a most generous soul, I assure you. Maybe the circus would be more open to traders? Blooming hell, you look famished. I've got some victuals that'll warm you right up. Have a skeg at these. <laughs> that 
That should do you. And all Bridge guards. From what I... Come to Baldur's Gate, he said. Adventurers get welcomed as heroes, he said. Poxy Drim and his bleeding notions. I want to have a word. Bloody ages we spent hiking from Murren. And they won't let us in the city proper. Bollocks. We're adventurous, damn it. Damn right. I can't believe they wouldn't let us in. The bridge guard chatted some shite about a coronation. Couldn't really make head nor tail of it. Oh, Not long before we leave scouring places. They can turn into mist now. I'm not the only one with new tricks. Eat more fish. It's good for ya. What do you reckon, lad? You trust these steel watcher thingamy jigs? Oi, I'll second that. It's all right where well, we can get work repairing them, but what happens when they build something else to do that? Ah, uh, it's no good, I tell ya. Here goes nothing. Shifter's key unlocks the door. Interesting. Blood near the bed. These tunnels were full of shapeshifters. Father Logan's name is written here too.
you notice some blood has pooled on the wooden floor. You notice the blood source, a body hidden under the bed. It's identical to the one held by that corpse in the tunnels. If you have gold, damn hoots, that new batch burns stronger than a pit fiend's fist. I'll take that as a compliment. Take it however you want, but I'll be having my usual from now on. Something's off about this one, on your guard. Oh. It's Raphael's favorite misadventurer. You've put me out of pocket, you know. Raphael bet me five soul coins you'd reach the city in one piece. He rented a room upstairs in the hope that you'd drop by. Ah, oh, I forget we've never met. I've had my eyes and ears on you so long we feel like old friends. Carilla is my name. I'm Raphael's assistant, shall we say. Take your time. Have a drink. Sample the goods. Go see him when you're feeling refreshed. Give it a good rumple. A weary traveler, battered and bruised. You come for sustenance. No, decadence. A mien cool as ice, yet eyes burning hot. Oh, yes, I know your bliss. A sturdy dwarf, a leather whip, she gives, you receive. Or have I misjudged you? Am I? Your eyes tell a story, sweeting. You crave more than pleasure, you crave penance. It's fee on you seek, our stern librarian. She isn't here today, alas. Your penance must wait. Well, we've other ways to fill your void. A drink for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. Swishing, I'm no fortune teller. If I had a crystal ball, I promise I'd already have consulted it. Truth is, Fion's gone well missing. And my hands may be skillful, but they were not made to turn every last stone she might be hiding behind. To service is my calling, not to be served. Ugh. But I'd be a fool to say no. The girl kept my coffers near overflowing. Two flights up, then turn right, and right again. That's Fionn's pleasure room, Elminster's library. Here, take the key. I'm listening. Murdered! Ye gods, the poor thing! Oh, 
by the mother of cats, I pray she didn't suffer. I'll miss that face. Else, the regulars will miss her more. They swarmed her like honeybees at the hive. Oh. Losing Fion slashed a big hole in my coin purse. I should get to replacing her. Sweeting. This is Baldur's Gate. I've seen more murders than a butcher's right eye. There'll be time for tears. Cruel as it is, I must turn my mind to business, or, more precisely, the lack of it. I have little coin, but I offer sin in abundance. Talk with the drow twins in the tap room. They're legends among the regulars, almost myths. Tell them they your gift from the mamzelle, and let them show you why. Anything else on your mind, sweeting? I'd probably break his heart. I wonder what's past this. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Murdered by my son? It's to be expected. Some families just don't get along. The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Found his secret. My sweet boy. Why? Killed folk. Slowly. He liked it. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Caresses, caresses a professional. Eat more fish. It's good for you. Straight to the heart was the deep. Great breath. We can bond with a ton of people and pray none of them have sticky fingers. Bigger, smaller, bigger, and that's all. Sense. It will when you've met the drow. You can stare as much as you like. Remember our vow to keep one another safe. A new face. Looking for another chapter of dirty law for your biography? You have but to ask, and we can grant you a moment of pleasure. Don't be shy. I used to work as a courtesan back home, and my sister as an artisanal masseuse. But men are treated like dogs by the Underdarks matriarchs, so we fled. 
We found surfaces craved the body of a drow like a drug. Life is easy in our line of work. Perhaps, once we have saved more gold, another adventure will begin. We've had busier days, but life is comfortable here with Mamza. Free ride with me or my brother. Or perhaps you have greater ambitions yet. Trust me, you don't want to miss my signature Mezoberanzan love trick. We are twins. We can make up a little show of kissing each other, but when we are hired at the same time, there are often many other clients in the room to attend to. Ah, you're lucky, sister. I'll be a little treat for you, then. This way. We have a room upstairs over yonder side. Lovely and nice. The two men bark softly to each other. A single name reaches your ears. Nine fingers. It's a name you know. Nine Fingers is the head of the guild, a criminal organization operating inside Baldur's Gate. You rats with the guild now. Heard Nine Fingers met a match. The new kingpin? All meat and muscle, that one. And wild as a werebear. If he's looking to house Nine Fingers, my blade's got his back. Sounds messy as the Ninth Hell. Must be why she called us to help. Is that right? The way I heard it, you Zent cut a deal with the new... Hold on. You there! Getting up in our affairs! Look, this subject's not safe. You selling your services, beat feet to the Guild Hall. Lower City, Basilisk Gate, Guild Hall. And that's all you're getting from me. Now, Scrum, the chat's officially closed. Oh. oh, what a give it. Good run. Another case closed, another bottle open. Huzzah to Valeria! <laughs> Hang on a tick. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I bet she's put you up to something. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? Ugh. I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Fine. If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? My assistant. She's posted in the Lower City investigating Duke Stelmane's murder. Now, back to it. What have you found? <gasps> a 
You're telling me more than one person has been killed in Baldur's Gate? You must have something better than that. I need hard evidence and a motive. Why would someone else kill Lorgan? How can we be sure it wasn't Brilgor? That doesn't make sense. Why would this dwarf kill Father Lorgan? I need something more than vague allegations. I want something compelling, hard, tangible evidence, and nothing less. While that is startling, it still doesn't disprove my theory that Brilgor killed Father Lorgan, does it? That's what you need if you want to change my mind. Hard evidence. A reason, too, if you're at it. Why was Lorgan killed? A Baal plot. You as well. devella has been harping on about Baal for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy codswallop and fear-mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. Oh, fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? No need to wave documents at me. I'm already drowning in paperwork as it is. Constable Devella is going to be a real pain in the trunk about this. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek her out? She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. Show her the list, and I'll stay and inform the fist here. Oh, and you'll need this pass. It'll give you access to the lower city. Well? What are you waiting for? You have a bloody conspiracy to solve. Move! Oh, oh sorry. I wish I could kiss you better. I mean, Beautiful. More than beautiful. You are the aurora stretched across the north skies. You are the golden dunes swept across the Kalim. You are the fruit of the forbidden palm. Soft on my skin. Sweet on my tongue. You are my sin and salvation. Your parasite stirs, and you gaze at the nymph through the flaming fist's hungry eyes. Your muscles shiver with her longing. Your skin burns with her heat. Oh, what's... What's wrong, Jara? What are you? Wait! I know you! I don't understand. What's... Your face! The Absolute has shown me. Jara, what's going on? Who's this man? Oh. Gather. Prepare. Behold. Your 
head screams in agony. The change has come. Pustules boiling beneath your skin, your bones twisting, your flesh rupturing. And suddenly, silence. What's happening? up for discussion. Hells. I'd heard tales of mind flayers. Talons sharp as daggers and tentacles yet more fearsome. But no tale did justice to its ethereal beauty. It floats like a butterfly. Its blood shimmers like silver. So the critics have said of Faerun's greatest masterpieces. I'm not so cold-hearted, nor so short-sighted. Her gaze intensifies. Your breath quickens and your heart skips a beat. The woman's senses are heightened and her fire stoked. The mind flare is no mere curiosity, but an object of desire. Why should I deny it? My urge is as natural as the grape upon the vine. But perhaps there are other flavors that might satisfy my palate. Rapture. Close your eyes and listen. You see only darkness. Her voice shines through it, warmer than the sun, yet cooler than night. The all-being. Here, there is no suffering. Here, you want for nothing. Here, you are anything. You have one word. Tell me, what will you be? You are more than powerful. An emperor to emperors. Your head adorned with a crown of gold, diamond and ruby. The heavens tremble with the steps of your army. All beasts, all men and women, all creatures of the plains bow to your might. Your flesh shivers, your heart bursts. True ecstasy. For one fleeting moment. Open your eyes. I remember you, and you'll remember me. Breathe deep and move.
underestimate the Forgotten Prince's closest sword. If you are in need of some pleasurable assistance, might I direct you to Charesse's caress? I only deal with referrals. Certified not magically altered. It's salty, it stinks of the sea. Try the catch of the day. that type of service down here, love. I've got a husband. And you ain't my type. Oh, thank the gods. I've had too many miscreants think my kitchen's just another themed playroom. I suppose, if you're willing to pay for it, Get out from under my feet, would you? Looking parched, sweetheart. Another tankard? How's, oh, darling? Another sip and I'm like to spill over. But other anchoring for spicier flavours. How about you give me a taste? What'd you say, doll? Have a sit on my lap. Let's see what pops up. Darling, how you set me a quiver. You are a beast among men. No, a dragon, setting my phoenix nest aflame. <sighs> I shall slake your first dragon. You will part your lips and drink of my essence. Oh, I will drink your essence. Hoots, order up! A 
Another tankard for the fist. My hands are full, sweetheart. You want a drink? Hoots is your woman. You want pleasure? See Mamzella Myra. the rest. can be set free. Men, women, children, all barred from entry. A damn travesty. A decade ago, Baldur's Gate would have welcomed any and everyone seeking refuge. Who would take in these souls, if not the Jewel of Baldurin? As long as Gortash is in charge, they'll be left shivering at the gates. All part of the plan, of course. Step one, create an army and order it to march on the city. Step two, shut the gates in the name of security. Step three, Bask in the applause. Gortash hasn't made Baldur's Gate safe. He's made it a prison. And when his army breaks through, the people will have nowhere to run. To make this city a safe haven, we'll need to bathe Gortash and his allies in their own blood. Mind flayers are like devils. They just sport tentacles rather than wings. Clever, manipulative, exploitative. The Emperor says he's a friend. I think we'd be fools to believe him. And maybe it's true. Maybe Stelmane allied with a Mind Flayer and subjected the city to their political will. Or maybe he made an offer she couldn't refuse. I met her twice. The first time, I was a boy of seven or eight at a banquet in the Flaming Fist's honor. One lurk and I was smitten. Chestnut hair that flowed behind her like willow fronds as she floated from one room to the next as if carried by clouds. The second time, Stelmane was different. Even with the aid of a cane, 
Each step she took was a struggle. Every word she spoke took great physical effort. A stroke victim? I asked father later. No, he said. A stroke survivor. You sense uncertainty in Will's voice. He questions his father's explanation. Something's always gnawed at me. At the banquet, Stelmane didn't seem to look at us, but through us. But that second time, her gaze never left me. It was steel, sharp and unyielding. It could just be my imagination, but I always felt that it was more than a stroke that had changed her. What, though? I couldn't say. Whatever you believe about Stelmane, she's not the only one to suffer the killer's blow. My father was Tadpole. Stelmane is dead. The people are frightened and the council's in disarray. To exert control, you must first sow chaos. A tyrant's strategy, as father would say. These murders aren't random acts. Someone powerful is guiding the killer's hand, and the city is made weaker for it. I didn't think I'd live to see the day when Lazel turned her back on Vlakis. But all things considered, good for her. If you're sure. Gate at last. We should find Charesse's caress. Voss will be waiting. It is. If you had any bargaining chips, they were oh. rather floating off. Give you anything you ask. There is only one thing in this world that I desire. You do not have it. And you never will. You must help me, Raphael. For the sake of my people. Hush now, Voss. These guests may not know it yet. But they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you... They have something of value to offer in return. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room once you're loosed from his claws. I'm glad you came. Not to my door. Not yet. But to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin, though. For the first time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's... Unsettling. <laughs> Wouldn't that be exquisite? But no. I'm afraid the tadpole is still there. But I did shut out your other visitor for a while, so we can enjoy some privacy. The Illithid can't hear us. I brought you here because I'm true to my word. 
and I can make all of this tadpole business go away. Which means you and your lovely friends can remain blessedly free of tentacles. Let us speak plain. I'll admit, you've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far. But no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the Elder Brain. At best, it will kill you and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. You have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. Very perceptive. Yes. I can give you the means to break him free. The Orphic Hammer. An artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus is held securely in my House of Hope even now. Good and truth rarely go hand in hand, but in this case, they are happy bedfellows, and we can be too. I swear to you, I have the solution to your problem. Isn't it just? And it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what I want in return. You really do think highly of yourself. My sights are set on something much more valuable than your soul. <laughs> Succulent, though it would be. I want the crown that dominates the Elder Brain. Power, ancient and full of wonder. I have craved it ever since the Archwizard Cassus created it long centuries ago and brought doom to the Empire of Netheril. That was the great age of humanity and Netheril's flying sky cities were the apex of civilization. I was there the day it all fell apart. Entire cities plummeted from the sky like angels with broken wings. The screams, oh, the screams. Hundreds of thousands of people watching in horror as the ground came up to meet them. <laughs> It was not a happy meeting. And Cassus was responsible. Not driven by malice, but by ambition. He forged a crown imbued with all the powers of magic. A crown that would make any who wore it a god. Men cannot contain so much power. The crown destroyed its creator, and his empire fell with him. Cassus's folly, the bards and scholars call it. I call it hope. The hope of creating a better world and the perils of unchecked hubris. I knew then that the folly of mortals could be the triumph of devils and that I could use that crown to unite the nine under one. Archdevil Supreme, me. The Hells require order to function. It is what separates us from mortals and demons. With the crown, I would impose perfect order, unity, efficiency, control. My kingdom would control its borders and stay within them. It was stolen from right under my nose. 
all those centuries ago. The archdevil Mephistopheles snatched up the crown and squirreled it away in one of his vaults. He is not more than a frigid archivist. So much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. I raged. But only for a decade or so. Then I waited, ever watching for more than a thousand years, for a mistake, a mishap, a misadventure. And these chosen, who have caused you so much trouble accidentally, did me a favor. They brought the crown back into play. Yes, it does. Especially when I see what a bloody mess they've made of their whole scheme. They must have raided Mephistopheles' vault. Impressive, I must admit. But they'll be dead soon. If you don't kill them, the Elder Brain will. It doesn't have feelings in the way you'd understand them. <laughs> but it seems rather angry. It is inevitable. When you destroy the brain, and you will because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me. In exchange, I give you the hammer now. A simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flare in your head. Take Raphael's deal and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. But there's no guarantee that Orpheus would be on your side. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. He claims his ambition is to unite the Hells, but can he be trusted to stop there? Do you trust him more than you trust the Emperor? Right here. You'll find everything is in order. The moment I have your signature, you will have the means to free Orpheus. The hammer. You guarantee the crown will be mine once the brain is defeated, and I swear that I will never use the crown to dominate a mortal. I will come to collect. If you refuse to give me the crown, I collect your souls instead. And then we all gather in the House of Hope. Me dressed in my finest silks. You, skinless. Hanging from a hook. To watch as your world dies. I won't stop you. But time is running out. So, don't stay away for long. If you see reason, I'll be here, waiting. Right up to the moment the world ends. These things have stayed interesting. The means to loosing the Prince of the Comet was within our grasp, and you refused it. Why? I wanted to follow the open valley, the easy way out. You chose the bramble path. I'm annoyed by it. And I admire you for it. We must speak with Voss. Then we find our way to Raphael's House of Hope. We'll take the Orphic Hammer and use it to smash the true heir's bonds. Yisk Githkar Chafki Krashet. The Githyanki will be free.